upon the first crusades after the dreadful winter at Antioch, my lord husband procured for us a home and for my son a, I'm sorry to say, less than Christian nurse. My son, being a curious child, would often escape from him to his nurse and flee to the marketplace there to see the wonders of the evening. And one day he came home and he asked me, Mother, what is the, what is the creature that walks on splayed toes and spits in anger and carries a mound of fur upon its back? And I said, I want that black that night before I went to dinner with my lord, I heard him ask the same question of his nurse. And she said, oh, young master, tis the camel. And he said, but, but where does it come from? We have nothing like that in the West. The great Allah gave it to the Bedouin. And this is from whence came the camel. Far back, before the great Muhammad came to preach to us of the true faith, Allah created all the beasts, and man and woman. And the Bedouin, being of the desert, went to Allah and said, You have forgotten us. You have given the people of the hills the goats and the sheep. You have given the great lords the horse, the swiftest of steeds. But those of us who live upon the sands, you have forgotten. And Allah said, Does not the horse run upon the sand? And they said, Yes, the horse runs upon the sand. And then it sinks. <laughs> Much as a ship with a hole in its bottom sinks upon the waves. And Allah said, mm, Pray, create for yourself the beast, and I will give it life. And so the Bedouins brought forth a beast with long legs with which to cover great distances, and splayed feet with which to walk upon the shifting sands and not sink. And they gave it a great mound of flesh upon its back, with which they could see over the dunes and spy their enemy. And they gave it a temperament suitable to the desert. <laughs> <laughs> and Allah, looking upon this wonder, gave it life. But with the gift of life, there comes obligation. And Allah said, you see, I created the world. I created people. I created all the other animals. Therefore, am I responsible for them? You have created the camel. And from henceforth and for all time, you, the Bedouin, shall be responsible for the camel. And it is for this reason that were it not for the Bedouins caring for them, the camel would not have survived, for the camel cannot breathe without the help of men. And from thence comes the camel. And that was the story my nurse told to my son. And I listened, and I marveled. We've got to find a priest for this one. <laughs>